On April 25, 1846, U.S. soldiers under the command of General Zachary Taylor entered a contested zone along the Nueces River where Mexican forces were stationed. The president at the time, James K. Polk, would not officially declare war against Mexico, although he aspired to expand U.S. territory into present-day California, a territory belonging to the Mexican government. When Mexican forces attacked at the provocation of the U.S. military, Polk gained the ammunition he needed to officially declare war against Mexico. After many battles and heavy losses on both sides, Mexico would eventually submit to the United States and sign away half their land in the Treaty of Hidalgo. In Mexico, women were often expected to remain at home, tending to the house and raising children while their husbands fought alongside General Santa Ana in the Mexican-American War. Not all women, however, adhered to these norms. Maria Josefa Sosaya, remembered as the maid of Monterrey, attended to soldiers in her hometown of Monterrey, Mexico. She would bring soldiers, regardless of their nationality, food and water, sometimes even at the risk of her own life. Sosaya was shot and killed one day while assisting a wounded soldier on the battlefield. Her kindness inspired U.S. soldiers to bury her amidst gunshots and fighting. Another woman from Monterrey, Maria Jesus dos Amantes, appeared before General Pedro de Ampudia in a captain's uniform and requested to join the fighting in her own town. General Ampudia warned dos Amantes of the danger she would face as a woman in battle. Nonetheless, she insisted on fighting. The courage dos Amantes demonstrated during the Battle of Monterrey earned her the nickname the heroine of Monterrey. One woman's bravery helped Mexican soldiers win the battle against U.S. soldiers in the Battle of Dominguez Ranch. Igania Reyes, a local from Los Angeles, acquired and hid the city's main cannon behind her house. Soldiers later used this cannon to defend against encroaching U.S. forces, winning a victory in the Mexican-American War. Because of Reyes' actions, many remember this battle as the Battle of the Old Woman's Gun. The bravery demonstrated by many women during the Mexican-American War paved the road for women to play larger roles later in the Mexican Revolution, fighting alongside General Zapata and Pancho Villa. Today, we remember these women for their courage and determination during a time when women were often relegated to lesser roles. 